I'm going to talk about the three-year-olds now. Uh, not many of them, but uh, the ones we have, three turning four, are the horses I like. Some of them are for sale. I shouldn't say that, but we have some re a real good short, small group, a group of horses that are going to stay and I think are going to do us some good absolute euphoria. Whether we turn her out or not, she's got one more start or so. Likely turn her out, bring her back, freshen up. This affiliate could be any kind of four-year-old. She was certainly a very good three-year-old for us. A sliver of fashion of all the horses we're selling on Monday, most likely uh, to maybe be bought back would be this guy, simply because I know I think I know what he's worth and I believe there may be an opportunity for him to do the next class up um, where he's racing and I actually like the horse so we'll see how um, how the sale on Monday goes but a sliver of fashion the horse when you're watching closely brace for landing turned him out for one month gonna bring him back and race him all winter long Car Carter Michael Leo's ready to go now it was a snappy quarter 27 and 1 in the qualifier the other day ready to go now is Carter Michael Leo collector s collector uh, Jason Merriman trained him today and gave me an update on the four he trained. He said Collector and Kenobi were very, very, very strong. He was really, really happy with both of them. So Collector, I don't know if you're going to see him race in Ohio. I mean, if he only fits a maiden at Mohawk, it races for twice, almost twice as much as the class he's going to fit at uh, Northfield Park. So you may see Collector make his way over to uh, Mohawk sooner than later. Um, where are we at now? Coupe de Ville is in the sale on uh, Monday. I don't, I don't mind if she sells, and, and quite frankly, we'll keep her. If we, we still do have options with her for a few more wins, but I would like to see a breeding. If you're out there and you're a breeder, trust me when I tell you, decently bred filly, you're not going to find a better work ethic than this filly. And she is, she loves to beat up on horses. I think she is going to make a good brood mare, and I would be the first person to say I'd be happy to buy a mare from Coupe de Ville. I can tell you that right now. Um... Uh, Cupid Express is in the sale. I, I suspect she'll sell. She's a nice mare, uh, a nice filly. I suspect she'll sell on Monday. Enzo Aguayo is back in to go Tuesday, I believe. You should see him a little bit better and even better for the final, I believe, because when that liver jumps on him, he's rather useless. And he was a watered down version of useless the other day. He still did his work, and you could tell he was trying, but he wasn't quite as effective as he'd been his first two starts. And I was right. His liver was quite high. So we'll get that down a little bit. It takes a little time. We'll get it down a little bit. And I think you'll see a better horse next week, this week, and next week even better after that. Um, Five Fish Species has been racing good and continues to race good. And I think it's worth noting uh, there was an accident at Yonkers the other night. And her, one of her regular drivers, Tyler Buter, was injured. Uh, man, uh, I'll tell you what. Those guys hit the track hard. And um, Tyler ended up with a, a fracture in his vertebrae. He'll be fine. It's going to take some time. He'll be out for a little while. Uh, but um, Jimmy Marone like, broke his... Don't quote me on this because this is all third person and I may make a mistake. I believe he broke his thumb and his forearm. And I told somebody, the thumb is the bugger. That's going to be a bugger to, for it to heal up and be, and be healthy and, and comfortable. But uh, the forearm will heal up. I think he's got to get a plate. His helmet broke. In the, in the, do you know how hard it is to break a helmet? I don't know that I've ever seen one broke. It's split at the back, almost up to the top. So very lucky, uh, Jimmy is for sure. Really nice guy. Uh, hoping a speedy recovery for everybody. Tyler, some broken ribs, a collarbone, and that vertebrae. Uh, he'll come around. The gentleman, the older gentleman, Bob Denazi. I, I knew the name from when I was a caretaker. My brother Mark knows him very, very well. He was very good friends with Mike McDonald. Um, older gentleman, hit the track incredibly hard. They said he broke some ribs, but he'll be okay. He must be tougher than hell drank his milk when he was a kid I can tell you that um and he was hurt um and and Matt Kikaley, you know poor bugger I like Matt he's a nice guy he got really smashed up in an accident hurt his shoulder he said he's in quite a bit of pain that shoulder must be a mess and you know just a reminder to you guys you know we joke about driving and how much I love it but there is a a tough side to it right and when you get out in an accident like that it's never a good feeling and um uh, I I've you know I, I've never seen anybody hurt as much as my brother Mark, and actually James is up there too, but Mark has been smashed up numerous times, and, and uh, as we all know, as we get a little bit older, that's going to take its toll. I've been lucky. I broke my wrist and some ribs and stuff, but I'll live um, not nearly as bad as, as people I know very well. So a speedy recovery to them, um, 
And uh, you never want to see something like that happen. The horses were fine, I believe, but a speedy recovery to the drivers for sure. Um, Gandalf the Black is in the sale Monday. I've had a couple of people message me and ask about him. He's just a nice horse. Gandalf the Black is a doer and a goer and a worker. He loves to do his work, and that might lead a lot of our clients to say, well, why are we selling them then? Because our model works the best in such a way we race our horses in the numbers of one through seven. We keep the higher-end condition horses that are going to float around the top like Patrick the Prana or uh, you know, stay close even has found his way up in there. Those are the types of horses we work with. I don't really like racing the mid-condition horses because you know you, you win a couple of races and you're penalized. You're up in that top class for a little bit and you, know, you get dropped down. I hate that. I hate wasting races. And I think the model that we built and the way we do it works best for us. And Gandalf is is getting up higher in those classes. So although he's on, only nominers of three, nominers of five at Northfield's a little tougher, right? And then you go to the Meadows, maybe you go to Dayton, maybe. But again, um, I just opted to put some of these horses in the sale. There is, truthfully speaking, like everybody else, yeah, this time of year you see everybody either before the sales, putting the money together for capital for yearling sales or putting the money together to pay for yearling sales. It's true. We are also. And when it comes to our yearlings, we are going to continue to turn horses over and focus on the younger horses. And that is exactly how the stable has worked. And it's how it's going to continue to work. So that is why Gandalf the Black is in the sale. And a number of other horses. You look at a horse like Coupe de Ville, seven races in a row in the top two, four wins in three seconds. It's not like we're selling her because she's flat or no good right now. Right? Nothing but a dreamer. Four wins in a row. Pick to win tonight. You know, could... All, truthfully speaking, go into Monday sale, five in a row, favorite going into the Harvest Series final. So it's not like we're selling a bunch of, you know, this isn't a fire sale. We're literally selling some horses because they're at the top of their game right now. Um, Halakai the third is going to race on Tuesday. I think you're going to see her be better this week. Uh, for the final, she's going to be really, really good. You're going to see her get better and better also as we go along. Uh, again, attacking that liver, trying to get it cleaned out, flushed out, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And I believe you're going to see a much better, a much stronger Halakai the third come uh, Wednesday at Northfield Park. Um, where are we at next? Jumped over some horses today. Fish, Gandalf, Halakai. Kenobi trained great today. Very happy with the update. The work ethic. Jason Merriman's a hell of a worker. I don't, I don't give him enough praise. The guy works his butt off and is in the barn every single day and, and has been a real asset to the stable over the last year. I met his dad yesterday at the Meadows. He came up and introduced himself. Jason, you know, there's a guy I believe he has 3,000 wins as a driver also. Been around for a while. Very capable young man and does a great job. Um... And he told me today that Kenobi and Collector, all those horses, train great. So very, very happy to hear that. Uh, Lindy's Landing raced great the other day. Very happy with this guy. Nothing but a dreamer has been racing great. Uh, that little, you know, you guys take a look at his lines. That little trip over the meadow sometimes just to change his confidence, spark him up, wake him back up. And he's just come to life since he came back also. So the horse has been great. Smoking Hot Irish Girl was good again yesterday at the Meadows. Continues to race good. Spitfire was awesome. World-class horse. Now, obviously, Chin Chin Hall has been, you know, broke down last year. And he's not the same horse he was. But every so often, you're going to see horses like him, the old Chin Chin, show up. The mile in 53 and 3 on a horrible track. That was a hell of a mile yesterday at the Meadows. Uh, a lot of people asking about Stay Special. I watched her train today and I watched her come off the track. She's sound, which is good. She'll be ready to go soon enough. 216 today, Johnny said. Uh, Steel Cowboy will come back in a couple weeks. We'll get him back going December 1st. We'll have him back going. Uh, Tactical Mounds is now out in the field for the winter. I think she deserved it. 316,000, I believe, or 311,000 or something was on her card this year. The most we've ever made. Uh, with any horse in one singular year and she was amazing this year Megan did a great job Scotty did a great job just a a tremendous uh, team effort and the Philly obviously leading the way doing the heavy lifting was uh, tremendous all year um, unique style is in the sale Monday same thing you know just maximize his class he'll do great somewhere Yonkers or I don't know Dover or somewhere he'll make somebody a nice horse uh, there's no issues with this guy just again running up through those classes. We have horses coming behind them that we need room for also. Uh, Wallop did not get in Wednesday. They carried it to Friday. I will tell everybody right now, if he does not get in Friday, if the class doesn't fill, I'm turning him out in the field for another three weeks. We've already, what, wasted two waiting for him to get in. So I'll turn him out for another two, three weeks. We'll bring him back somewhere around. And now this is if he doesn't get in Friday. 
he doesn't get in Friday, we'll probably bring him back around Christmas time, maybe a little bit earlier. Um, well, uh, Walter's keepsake uh, was good. That pus pocket did blow out of his foot. I don't know if that means he blew out of his foot and he's not going to race this week or blew out his foot. Yay. I wasn't sure. Stacy didn't elaborate. We'll see if he races this week. But the horse, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this guy all winter long. And then last and certainly not least is What a Mission and War We Yuri. Both trained today. Uh, what a mission's pretty well ready to go. Just needs a little tune up from the vet. And War We Yuri trained in 2 9 today. He's probably still a couple of weeks out, but he'll be ready to go sooner than later. So those are your three year olds. That's all of them. Now you're all caught up with the three year olds. I'll be back in a minute with our two year olds. Take care. <laughs>